Is there a way to play it safe and invest in rising energy prices? Our next guest says, yes, there is. John Leck is CEO and Senior Portfolio Manager of Leader Capital joins me now. Good to see you here, John. Thanks for having me. So oil prices, as we know, have spiked as of late. You believe they're going to continue to go higher. You now, do. you manage the Leader Short-Term Bond Fund. Correct. You invest in energy company bonds. Tell me a little bit about how you're playing energy in the bond space. There's two ways to play energy. One, you, you see all the media uh, you know, talking about Syria, Iran, some of the problems in the Middle East. Um, but our biggest push, uh, believe it or not, on the energy sector is the fact that Obama is determined to get elected and will continue to print a lot of money. And so all commodities are traded in U.S. dollars. So as he prints more and more money, the value of the dollar goes down. Commodity prices continue to go up. You throw a problem in the Middle East on that, you're looking at $125, $140 a barrel. I know you like convertible bonds, in particular in the energy space. Tell me a little bit about the types of bonds you're buying and why. We like, for example, we like the Peabody Energy four and three quarters convertible because I'm getting a 4.75% return on my money. I'm senior in the, la in the, in the corporate uh, structure, i.e. preferreds, equities, so forth. And if, in fact, I'm correct on my call on commodities, which so far we are, um, you will get the benefit of a 10 to 15 percent increase uh, on top of getting your coupon without taking equity risk. How much of the portfolio right now is comprised of energy bonds, and are you adding to that position potentially? Great question. We're about 20 percent in the short-term bond fund. We also run a total return fund, which we are 40 percent invested. So yes, we are adding to it selectively. As you know, prices have moved up quite a bit, and so we're, 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 we're being cautious here and buying on pullbacks. And when you are buying, are you selling other bonds or are you using cash? We're using cash. As a matter of fact, good question. We've taken our cash position down to about 8 percent. That's the lowest it's been in six years in terms of cash. So we intend to stay fully invested here, and particularly in the commodity sector. What would make you change your mind in terms of that full investment? Um, if GDP went below 2%, we would get concerned. That is about the only thing. But you don't see that happening. Oil prices are going to rise, and I guess that means gas prices are going to keep going up too, in your view? Uh, unfortunately for your, your viewership, uh, we see gas prices at 5 to $6 a gallon at the pump by this summer. And I think it's a kind of a straight line from here to there. That's good news for the U.S. economy, but in the short run, a little painful. How is that good news? I'll tell you why, because the U.S. has something a lot of people don't appreciate. We have the most efficient BTU burn rate globally anywhere. And what I mean by that is if I boil a gallon of water on my stove, it's, for example, will cost me 10 cents for a person living in China, that's going to cost him a dollar, or excuse me, it's going to cost him 14.1 cents. So as commodity prices move up, the burden on him is much higher, and it brings our net cost in line, which means that begins to create jobs and manufacturing here. So a little painful, but, but, but it costs us a little more at the pump, but literally they have trouble eating as commodity prices move up. So, so it really is beneficial to this country, but a little, no, not so much fun uh, when you pull it in, you know, and fill up your uh, tank right. at, the, at the pump. Well, it can also be painful when commodity prices rise if we start to worry about inflation. Now, if you're in bond funds, that's going to be paramount to your concern. Can you explain to me where you are on the inflation worries and what your expectations are for return on on? Uh, debt investing now if that is an issue the way we're handling that is twofold one to you know talk about you know you know you know what we're doing with energy uh, that is a way to hedge yourself in terms of inflation the second thing we're doing is we're buying what we call floating rate uh, instruments meaning as interest rates move up we get a pay increase and the value of those bonds go up so we have about 30 percent of our money invested there um, at nice discounts, 70, 75 cents on the dollar, looking for those to go to 100. And then, of course, we have the commodity play in addition to that, which gives us a terrific coupon. And one I'll tell you about is we like Venezuela here, 12 and 3 quarter percent coupon we bought uh, you know, as, as early as two weeks ago. We paid par for that, getting 12.75 percent. And we are well protected with you know, the fact that Venezuela is the second largest importer of oil into the United States ahead of Saudi Arabia. So, I mean, just for example, that gives us a great coupon. And then, of course, we protect on the inflation with the floating rate notes. John Lekas, Leader Capital. Good to talk to you. Thank you. Thanks, John.
I'm Rhonda Schapler. This is Reuters.